What's good, sneakerheads? This your boy, Dre Jungles, man. And look, we finally did it. It's been a long time coming, man. Your boy been, he been on his grind. So I just want to take the time out and just thank you for all the support, all the shout outs, all the love. Thank you. I see you. Appreciate it. We got, we got business to get to. So at the end of the day, if you're going to rock with your boy and stop by here from time to time and chop it up about kick, I need you to do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Check your boy out. Um, if you don't rock with it, then, I mean, the least you can do is hit that dislike button for me. You know what I'm saying? You don't like this. Stick around for a little bit. See what your boy got cooked up for you. Got a special unboxing at the end of this video. And um, sit back, relax, check it out. Let's go. So, I just grew up, and at 14, I made a statement that I was going to do something to help humanity. But when I made that statement, I also knew that I was going to come up against the established or prevailing philosophy of life that I knew at 14 years of age. But I didn't know that one day that I would become the person that I'm known for today as being the healer. I didn't know that. Welcome back, guys. Okay, so the whole point of like gathering y'all up together and start making videos and stuff is to let y'all know what this whole culture is about. For instance, for me, I woke up maybe about a few months ago and I wanted a shoe. And I realized it's like, when that shoe came, like I kept an eye on that shoe. And when that shoe came and I took one attempt at it and it was a swing and a miss, and I'm just sitting there to myself like, I know this just can't be it. Like, this can't be it. It has to be a way. So ever since that day, I started researching, doing a lot of things, um, realizing you have to enter raffles, realizing you have to um, give yourself a chance. Um, I started talking to some of my friends a lot more about sneakers because these guys have been collecting sneakers their whole entire life. So one day, they just woke up and just saw me collecting sneakers, and they just like, hey, hey, hey. What? what? And I'm just like, yeah, man, like, what's up? So, you know, I think, real talk, it might have been like the Flint 13s. I have a pair of them right here. I had to double down on that shoe because it was like one day I was waiting in line for someone and, um, you know, I was pledging online. I guess we had like these little high school organizations kind of help uplift young men inside of our community. And um, one of the big brothers, he had a task for me. He wanted me to sit inside the line inside the store. And I know I waited inside this line probably about Hey, like three, four hours, bro. And then the minute I got up to that door and he came walking up, I'm thinking like, big bro gonna look me out. You know what I'm saying? Big bro, had, I thought he had the bread to cover too. Like, yo, here you go, here you go. But it ain't happened that way. You know what I'm saying? He got his kicks. I'm sitting there with the puppy face, sitting there, him mad. You know what I'm saying? Him really mad. So, um, yeah, ever since that day, I was like, yo, if I was able to come, you know, afford the shoes, I would get them, of course. But, you know, everybody ain't grow up that way. But now your boy is here. Your boy can get anything he wants to. And it's my job to get this information out to you. Like, there's so much that you probably don't know. And even if you you are, you know, a big sneakerhead and you've been in this game and you, you really don't feel like putting in the work, like, yo, it's too much to be copping sneakers now, like... You know what I'm saying? I need somebody to just dumb it down for me or just put everything in one big bunch so I can just know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Tell me what to do. That's what I'm here for. You know what I mean? I'm a person that's going to do the dirty work for you, kick this information out to you so you'll give yourself an opportunity. They always say like, yo, Trey, you always hit, bro. You always hitting on these raffles. You always hitting on these, these apps, bro. Like, what is your secret? Like, it's really no secret. It's just that I give myself a chance. If I'm going to enter in, say for instance, a store raffle. Let's say Foot Locker is having a raffle. I'm going to make an account with Foot Locker. Then I'm gonna make another account with Foot Locker. Then I'm gonna make another account with Foot Locker. Like, you get my drift? Like, I'm gonna make accounts, bro. Like, and I'm not the only one that does it. Like, people who want that shoe, they're gonna get that shoe. Or, or, huh? or. You can be a part of the new school. You got the old school and you got the new school. New school cats, they ain't doing none of this crap, bruh. They taking their phones out, they going straight to StockX, and they going straight to GOAT. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's always been like this little battle between people like, oh, but you got yours off the goat. Oh, you ain't really get yours the dirty work. There's nothing wrong with that. If you got it, spend it. That's that resale. We're going to get into that. We're going to get into so much information that you probably don't know. Uh, bots. I know sometimes you probably like, well, Dre, I go on Foot Locker every time. And the minute I click it in three point seconds, it's sold out. Nah, it's not sold out. You got to keep clicking, 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 clicking. My boys gave up within like 20 minutes. They wasn't messing with it anymore. So for me, I hit them back, clicking, clicking, clicking for two hours. Two hours, I'm sitting there just clicking, clicking. Add the cart, add the cart, add the cart. You can't do it too fast because they would think like you bought it and then they'll block you. That's the whole point. Like when you bought it, you on another proxy. So like if they try to shut that down, Busted. your bot is going to accumulate a whole nother IP Busted. address and you just still eat up off of that. But me, click it, click it, add the cart, add the cart. Two hours. Two hours. I was rewarded the real toes. Two hours, bro. Ooh, I have no problem with it, you know what I'm saying? But some people do. They feel like it's too easy for some people. Like, oh man, well, Dre, I had to stand in line for 17 hours, bro. And uh, I watch a dude get slapped in the head and pissed on and got his sneakers took him, bro. But that's the reason why we have raffles now, because they don't want none of that crap going on, man. And it's like, to be honest with you, it's disgusting. It's disgusting that somebody can take their hard-earned money, wait in line for a shoe that they probably been wanting their entire life, and then they go in, they get a successful cop, and then you got some knuckleheads waiting for them around the corner. Like that, 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 and then brag about it. Like that is the worst you can do, and so much crap has been going on with that so that's why i, I kind of rock with the raffles i mean it gives people a good opportunity if i know what is it for for these biohacks man for the biohacks 2020 i sat there and i probably entered about 52 raffles i hit twice twice you see that type of odds 52 times you only get twice that's crazy that's wild now don't get me wrong your boy have, have hit a few times like doubled up on hits and stuff like that. Cause sometimes it happens. But this is what the information I'm trying to tell you. If you do enter 50 something raffles and you hit like on like two or three shoes, buy those shoes, buy those shoes, buy those shoes. I'm gonna keep saying it because it's an investment. The minute you buy that shoe, you can dump it, bruh. You can dump that shoe ASAP or you can put it on ice. And when you put it on ice, guess what happened? That value goes up, 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 up. Depending on the shoe though, of course. That's why you have to do your research. That's why I will let you know. That thing Randy Tucker size, We got a lot to get into with these segments. We got so many guests that's gonna come on here from time to time. We have so many sneaker heads that wanna get their stories out there. I mean, what's the reason you brought that shoe? Like, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. I can tell you right now, no lie. Um, this is the shoe that did it for me, man. This is the shoe that did it for me. Not why I started collecting, but my whole reasoning of like, this is why I do it. Every shoe has a story, bro. Like, every shoe has a story. At the end of the day, what's your story? Like, for me, I stood in line for three hours for someone else. As a kid, you know what I'm saying? Thinking that I was gonna get blessed. I didn't get blessed, I couldn't afford it. This time around, this day and age, I doubled down on it. Wanna rock, wanna stop. We gonna get into that. But at the end of the day, people, I just wanna thank you for taking your time out. Really, seriously, seriously, seriously. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I couldn't have done this without you. You guys inspired me to wanna open up and do a whole show to get this information out to you. It does get a little overwhelming from time to time. Like, I'm sorry if I can't get back to everybody that hits me and everything like that, but this is what the videos is for. This is what the show is for. I want you to just enter to the cave 
and understand that we're going to get right. We're going to build our collection one by one. And we're going to be sitting good. So this time next year, when I ask you, when I randomly hit you, show me some need. You're going to be able to pull one of these Jones out like, bah, 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 bah. You know what I'm saying? Because right now I'll be running up on, where the heat at? Where the heat at? You know what I'm saying? Where the heat? You want that segment? Where the heat? Where me the heat? Show me the heat. Kicks of the day. Um, I'm going to be 100 with you. It's my kick of the day. This is my kick of the day. This is how we're going to pop this off. The Retro 13 Flints. Dope shoe. We're going to get into a review on it. We're going to review every last one of these shoes, and I'm going to tell you the reason why I copped every last one of these shoes. And I might even randomly hit you up and say, yo, show me some heat. We're going to have sneaker battles. Cool. We're going to have restock alerts. Cool. We're going to have all types of information for you guys to be locked in, loaded, get your information ready. And I got to tell y'all about bots. My boy Rel, he been botting since he was inside high school. You go inside his crib and he got like two computers up. Boom, boom, boom. Maybe even three, boom, four, boom, right there. And I'm like, yo, man, what you about? Break into the White House? What are you doing? Like, nah, I'm just trying to get these sneakers. I never understood that. Rel, my bad. My bad, bro. You got that. You got that. Huh? No, no problem. But botting is crazy. And botting is the reason why you just can't go online at 10 o'clock and grab a shoe. That's the reason why it says sold out at 10 o'clock. If you refresh that page, people, and your size is still highlighted, that thing is sitting right there. It's just that these bots is cooking. What is a bot? A bot is a program. Program that different program developers design. And when they design it, it's for you to bypass all that bullshit hey. and be the first one at that gate when it's time for the release. It's like a virtual, like your virtual self. You want to be the first one in line, don't you? So, so is your bot. You buy a bot, your bot is going to go behind the scenes. You waiting right there. But we'll get into all that. We'll do a real versus fake later on into to this thing. You know, we warming up right now. Um, but we had a lot to talk about at the end of the day. And I just want you to sit back and enjoy all of it take it in i know it can get a little overwhelming at sometimes but bruh we gonna get these kicks bruh we gonna get these kicks and we gonna build our collection one by one one by one and like i said when i see you that has some jones on your feet bruh because if not we are what are the hell in your thoughts let me not put a little bit to me but when i see you that's on your feet right you got anything on your feet, you know what I mean? Now, this is the most exciting part of the show. I got a part one, part two series for you on this, so I'm gonna try to like speed this up a little bit more for you. But look, we got a special unboxing. I can't believe I hit on these Johns. Both pairs. Woo! Bruh, listen to me when I tell you. There's methods to sneakers as well. Now, I know you've probably been on the sneakers and I'm like, always get me on the sneakers. Nah, it's a little method that I got that I want, I'm willing to share, you know what I'm saying? And look, let me tell you something. Let me tell you for the people. Let me get a little close for the people. You know, back up a little bit. Tell you. Look, y'all cats keep hitting me, telling me to shh, Dre, Dre. Why you keep telling everybody, Dre? And I'll be like, oh, yo, yo, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I, yeah, you right, you know what I'm saying? Give people a chance. And you know me, I'm live by giving people a chance. You know what I'm saying? But, but the same person telling me stop spreading the information so that people can have a chance are the same people that ain't even buying. Stop telling me to spread the information if you ain't buying nothing. Man, buy something, man. Show me that the info I spit to you that you was telling me to shush if you want. Show me that you had a successful cop because I held back from telling others. If you can do that, yo, I swear I'll be like, I'ma let you know first. I'ma let you know first. If you hit me and say, yo, I need you to chill on the info on these because like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get them. I don't want everybody to do that. I mean, that, well, however many people you think that is going to listen to that, cool because there's still like another side of the globe that's trying as well. So it's like, 
they know, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not the only sneakerhead. You're not the only sneakerhead. Um, my area, people that I know, y'all, we not the only sneakerhead. This hey, for real. It's for real. Bruh, it's for real. So, if you wanna make some money, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna know where to go, where to cop, where to, how, why, when, all the above, rock with your boy, man. Just, you know what I mean? We chillin', we... It's been a while since I don't know, man. I ain't been in the. There it is. We used to. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't. I ain't got it no more, man. Yo, it's been a long time, bro. Stop playing. With me. We vibing. Um, we gonna get into all this though. We gonna get into all of this. So. Sit back, I got these Michigans, Michigan State, Wolverines, Michigan State, Spartan. Enough of that talking, man. I mean, I've been talking, 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 talking throughout this whole, you know, throughout this whole video or whatever like that. And I know y'all just, y'all y'all wanna see these, y'all wanna see these kicks. So let's get into it, man, right now. Oh, oh <laughs> Your boy got it, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you know what I'm saying? My son messing with the box and ripped everything off because when these came in, I'm telling you, like, ball was like, daddy, daddy, let's open it up. Let's see what you got. He, he got some of the drones I got. He got the fire red fives. He got the DMPs, but we about to get into it. See what we got up there. Well, that Nike tape, boy, I'll tell you. Good. Nike. All right, what we got here, what we got here? Uh, uh, oh, oh. Voila. Got it. Definitely got it. The box, read. Nike Dunk High SP. Uh, we got the colorway. White pro green, pro green. And the size is a nine and a half. You got your lot number. You got your quality control sticker. <laughs> Yo, Tribe, Tribe. This is on fire, bro. It's different. It's different. Definitely different. Definitely. All dunks come with an extra shoelace. At least I know my last one's did, but these, man, these things is clean, bruh. These, AKA, are your Michigan States. Hey, Tribe, I, I can't, I can't lie, bruh. I can't lie, you can't go wrong with a dunk, like. Quality control sticker right up in there, baby. Just this here. I know, you know what I mean? Y'all be trying to get a player. Like, where you get those from? Ah, uh, sneakers. Oh, man. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to go ahead and leave that. Oh, right there. It's fire. But you know what? This ain't going to help. I think y'all need a closer review. Michigan State 
Spartan dunks. And I mean, it's a genuine shoe. It's a very, very genuine shoe. I mean, if you think of Michigan State, and first thing comes to my mind is Coach uh, Izzo. Coach Izzo, Draymond, I mean, uh, Magic Johnson, I believe. Like, there's a lot of great players that come out of that traditional Michigan, Michigan State basketball team. And here you have it, your dunk, your Nike dunk. This is what they wore in 85. These were one of the original colorways that came out. Your Michigan States, your Michigans, your North Carolinas, all of those. These are fire. I mean, look at it. You have a nice crisp. I mean, this shoe has a nice polish to it. It has like that white shiny leather that goes on to it. I want to call it the half and half gum bottom. You got your Spartan green, Michigan State green on the sole with a nice little taper of the white blended in. You have that green Michigan State colorway as the outlining of the shoe, which I like. Has that nice feel, fine finish to it, like, like your mama's, grandmama's leather couch. But when you go down to the swoosh, which is green, Spartan green, by the way, um, it's more finished and polished. I like this shoe. This shoe stands out a lot. You have your green laces. You have your Nike swoosh. You have your Nike swoosh on the tongue. And the tongue material is not usually, it's usually made out of like this, like foamy type of material, but this material right here is more like that traditional throwback OG. I like this shoe. They kept this shoe classic, and this is what I like about Nike. They don't never miss when it comes down to dunks, man. I, I, can, I can honestly say the last few dunks that came out of 2020, they have not missed on. Every single dunk, and I think the dunk that started it all of this year was the Chunky Dunkies, but when you have, and those are skateboards, those are SP, but when you have your regular standard Nike dunk that's a little bit more narrow than the SP, the SP is a little more bulky for uh, the skateboarders, that's what the SB stands for, it's a little bit more bulky for them so that they can able to, you know, grip their skateboards, but for your traditional Nike dunks, these were made to ball in. These is what they balled in back in the day. This is what came before your Jordan run. If I had to rank this shoe, I'll give this shoe on a scale of one to 10. Being that it's an OG, I like Coach Izzo. I'm giving it a seven. I'm giving these a seven. And the reason why I'm giving these a seven because that green, this green is just something different, bro. Like, bro, I've never seen this color green on a shoe before. Like, I don't even, you can't even call this dookie green. You can't call this Captain Planet Save the Earth green. You can't call this Slime Time Live green. I don't know, collard green green? Coming out the other side green after? You finish eating collard green green? Cause this thing, this thing, and it looks like it changed color within the light. Like some angles it looks black, some angles it looks green. I like shoes like that. But there you have it, people. You have your Nike Dunk High SP Michigan State Spartans. I mean, it don't get no more traditional than this. We can ask for all the types of collabs in the world, but at the end of the day, I'd rather take these bad boys than any type of all color. Now, if you got some Travis Scott ones in a size nine and a half for about reasonable price and not a crazy resale, I'll let you boy. But in the meantime, sneakerhead, sneaker tribe, sneaker community, this is what we get. This is what we get. Listen, if you like this video, 
If you like this sneaker content, this is only show one of one. We got so much to talk about. I can't wait until we get into it. Listen, it's no more talking after this. We rocking, we roll, keep it locked. Stay tuned. I love you guys. Be safe. It's crazy out there nowadays, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you love your loved ones the best. We out of here. Ooh.